our scraping journey begins here. Four bolts, four holes in the concrete. I hope that was entertaining for everybody. It took like two hours. So these bolts aren't long enough. They're probably not big enough either. Uh, this one's sticking out all right. Um, you can see we're right on the edge here. In addition to that, there really needs to be a bolt on the bottom that's actually pulling the anchor up on the concrete and another bolt, another nut on top that this is resting on. Right now we only have one under there. back and tell past you that we shouldn't scrape the ways. Why would I do that? It seems to be going pretty well. I mean, just to mess with him. <laughs> yeah, he's not gonna listen to me anyway. Yeah, that's true. Uh, and I mean, plus, as long as you dress like Marty McFly. Yeah, that's true. Uh, why are you dressed like Marty McFly? There's no time to explain! doing the scraping, I'm gonna work on the motor. Speaking of the motor. So we got a Dayton one horsepower motor. Uh, this is a three phase motor with a VFD. Uh, VFD will run on 220 volt. Uh, one horsepower is a little underpowered for this lathe. I think stock it came with a one and a half horsepower, but uh, for us as noobs, I think a one horsepower is gonna do just fine.
right, before I uh, box this whole thing up, I figured I would show you how it's wired. Um, the 220 comes in here. Uh, that's just gonna be a regular uh, AC 220 extension cord. Uh, that comes through here and out here. That goes into our e-stop switch. It is rated for three horsepower at 220, which is plenty more than we need. Uh, and then it's gonna come in here into our VFD. And our VFD spits out three phase uh, down here, which is this cable there, which goes back out through here, and that'll plug into our motor. How's it going so far? Uh, it's going. I mean, it's just, it's kind of boring. Like, it's gotta be boring for our viewers, right? That's a good point. Well, I, you know what would be more interesting? What's that? What if we built a giant precision gantry with a grinder on it? We grind it ourselves. Like a giant surface grinder? Yeah. Yep, no, that sounds uh, like an awesome idea. Just, it's impossible. Why? Well, I mean, we'd need some huge equipment to do it. Like what? Well, uh, some really big motors, because I'm not going to do this manually. Yeah. And uh, really big motors, of course, means you got to have like a really big uh, driver for it. Sure. Um, you're going to need some big acne screws and stuff to drive that. And then, I mean, this is a huge lathe. We need some like just giant sized uh, linear motion rails and stuff to go with that. Yeah, I can understand that. And I mean, I guess if you had all that somehow, then all we really need is a whole lot of steel just so that we can um, build the... Uh... Yeah, all right, let's go to the store. Yep.